space is so incredibly large that even simulating a pebble could likely take up more computing power than the entire world can supply. It is, however, possible to simulate an approximation of what the universe would look like in different scenarios. This is demonstrated greatly by the game Universe Sandbox. But a thought came to my mind. How could I make something like that? So I set off on doing so. I started with creating the baseline for the project on a stream. Yep. Everything seems to be working. Alright, there, that looks better. Um, what is the sun's gravity compared to Earth? 27.9, we'll just round up. There we go. It isn't to scale. DT. What is DT? It's moving. And. Oh. Looks like what we're trying to figure out. Why is there minus one next to tangent? Afterwards, I cleaned up the code a bit. I fixed all of the previous problems I found and got a planet orbiting a star. Then I got the rest of the solar system implemented. Now I want you to analyze this footage here. Can you spot the issue? Let's enhance the footage and slow it down a bit. What about now? If you said that the Earth went directly through the Sun, then congratulations, you are absolutely correct. I made a semi-working collision system where planets will eat smaller planets on collision. I created a logic table of what two things colliding would actually create. I never verified with Google if any of these are correct though. After that I decided to test out some scenarios with my new engine. First I made a simulation of the sun becoming a red giant. and one with a black hole as well. I can guarantee this would happen with 100% accuracy that this is in fact how it would look. That's why I've decided to name the project Accurate Space Simulator, or ASS for short. You'll be able to find the project on my GitHub in the description.